what happens in Act 2 of Romeo and Juliet. Let's find out. How's it going Vision Squad? It's me, Liam, aka Mr Knight, aka Dystopia Junkie, and in this video I will be summarising what happens in Act 2 of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. I really hope this video helps you out as you study or revise Shakespeare's play, and if it does, you can let me know by giving it a like, writing a comment on it, sharing the video with anyone else you think might find it helpful, and, of course, subscribing to my channel if you aren't already. It would mean absolutely loads, so thank you so much in advance. So just like Act 1, Act 2 of Romeo and Juliet begins with a prologue. Now this prologue is really straightforward and it explains one really vital fact. What is that fact though? Well, the fact is that Romeo no longer loves Rosaline, and instead he is in love with Juliet. And that's it, that's basically the prologue over. Act 2 scene 1 begins in a street next to the Capulet garden straight after Romeo and his friends have left the Capulet party. Immediately, Romeo abandons his friends and jumps the garden wall and sneaks into the garden, hoping to find Juliet. Benvolio and Mercutio are confused and try to find their good friend Romeo. And in trying to lure Romeo out of hiding, Mercutio shouts out and calls him impulsive and then also makes several crude puns. Mercutio does this for a bit, but there seems to be no response from Romeo. As such, Mercutio and Benvolio quickly give up looking for their friend. Act 2, Scene 2 follows Romeo as he sneaks through the Capulet garden, and as he's doing this, he eventually stumbles upon the sight of Juliet standing at her window. Romeo stops to listen, and overhears Juliet speaking. She outwardly confesses her love for Romeo, but also expresses concern about their families. After all, they're enemies, and so their love cannot be. Eventually, Romeo speaks up and makes his presence known to Juliet. He tells her that he will no longer be a Montague if that's what it takes to be with her. He also confesses that he is in love with her too, albeit with very poetic and slightly over-the-top language. Although Juliet is happy, she expresses some doubt because Romeo has been far too poetic and extravagant with his words. She thinks that his words could just be for show. Despite this slight amount of friction between the two, they make a plan to get married. Juliet asks Romeo to let her know tomorrow if his proposal is genuine. Act 2, Scene 3 takes place in Friar Lawrence's cell, so the small room or set of rooms that he calls home. Please note that some versions of the play call him Lawrence with a W and others call him Lawrence with a U. As such, both are correct. Just pick one spelling and be consistent with it. Anyway, if this scene takes place in Friar Lawrence's cell, just who on earth is he? Well, he is a local religious figure who is also an expert in both poisons and medicines. Romeo turns up to the cell and tells Friar Lawrence that he is in love with Juliet now, not Rosaline. Romeo then asks Friar Lawrence to marry him and Juliet. In response to this, Friar Lawrence expresses shock. After all, Romeo has moved on awfully quickly, hasn't he? Despite this, Friar Lawrence agrees to marry Romeo and Juliet, even if only to end the feud between their families that has plagued Verona. Act 2, Scene 4 takes place on a random street in Verona 
on the morning after the Capulet party. The scene begins with Mercutio and Benvolio, who belittle the news that Tybalt has challenged Romeo to a duel, presumably making up for the fight that he was prevented from having at the party the previous night. After a bit of chatter, Romeo appears. He and Mercutio, as per usual, banter. This continues for a bit, and then Juliet's nurse turns up. Mercutio and Benvolio mock her appearance, which upsets and angers her. These two men eventually leave, and after this, Romeo tells the nurse that he still intends to marry Juliet, and that she is to meet him at Friar Lawrence's cell later that day. Upon hearing this news, the nurse is excited. She tells Romeo that Paris, the prince's cousin, is also interested in marrying Juliet. Act 2, scene 5 takes place in the Capulet garden. Juliet is in this garden, and she is worrying about Romeo, because she is yet to hear from the nurse about whether or not his proposal offer was genuine. After a bit, the nurse turns up. She teases Juliet for a while, and then tells her that Romeo still wants to marry her, today in fact, and that Juliet is to go to Friar Lawrence's cell. Speaking of Friar Lawrence's cell, that's where Acts 2, Scene 6 takes place. As Friar Lawrence and Romeo prepare for the wedding, Friar Lawrence warns Romeo about the perils of marrying too quickly. Romeo more or less dismisses the friar's concerns. Juliet then enters the scene. Both she and Romeo express just how happy they are to be getting married. Then all three characters leave the stage. Somewhere off stage, Friar Lawrence marries Romeo and Juliet. And with Romeo and Juliet married off stage, that wraps up Act 2, Scene 6, and that means that Act 2 of Romeo and Juliet has been summarised. Hopefully you have found this video to be informative and useful, and that you feel more confident when it comes to studying and revising Shakespeare's play as a result. If you've made it this far, please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and share, and remember, as always, that I hope that you have an awesome rest of the day. If you are revising, please do remember to take frequent short breaks, as a burned out student is not a happy or successful student, which is what I think you deserve to be. So what does happen in Act 2 of Romeo and Juliet? Well, Romeo and Juliet confess their love for each other, plan to get married, and then do albeit in secret. Now, I don't know about you, but this sounds almost a bit too good to be true, a bit too happy. Well, just wait until you find out what happens in Acts 3, 4 and 5, because this happiness doesn't last.